Holy shit, the Ottomans are way up here. I was right. Let's see, the Imperial banners flutter in the wind in this year of our Lord, 1593, the most serene Augustus Carlo de Savoia Romanum Imperator, crowned by God, has convened the estates of the Holy Roman Empire. Presented to the D assembled Diet is a motion for Reich's reform, carrying the seal of the Emperor himself. Reforming the Imperial administration in line with the Emperor's proposal will increase its efficiency, but some whisper Sato Voce that the proposed reform infringes on the sacred feudal rights of the estates. God willing, the wind in the banners is not just a storm brewing. What is our position? Sure, we'll take it. Even though it seems like it failed. Could use technology cost reduction. Ooh, we got another idea. Okay, untick all these. And crank the shit out of them. And let's see what we've got here for a new idea. Still not enough for that. Trade tech at least 30. That sucks. I want these two. Very tempted for Unam Sanctum. It would love me to swallow some nearby enemies. Uh, problem is, is that would give me serious infamy issues for unlawful imperial, uh, imperial territories. Yearly cultural tradition. That's a benefit. Global tariffs plus one third. It's not that much yet. We'll be in the long run. I might wait on that. I think I'm going to take the cultural tradition. That would be beneficial. Ooh, wait. We need some of that. And actually... Cut this down a little bit, too. Because now we have more morale. Hooray. I love these non aggressive oh my god, non aggressive natives. And we get over there and they get pissy. Oh, hey, we finished uh, converting Tuscarora. Oh, no. That was Tokawa. Yay. So now all that's left in this is those three in Ohio. And we just have those damn Catholics in Greenland. Those damn Catholics in Greenland. Check out what's going on over here real quick. Lubeck is still number one, but it's Alexandria is not so far behind. El Sache! How dare you. really make nice nice with the Aztecs. Here. Open up your trade.
Fantastic. Okay, we're starting to get ahead again. That's good. We like that. Get some distance between us and those other assholes. already have the level 6? Oh, I need production tech 27. That's fine. I'll make some missionaries and a magistrate. It's almost worth it to build that in a few places. Somewhere over here doesn't have a fort. Is it you? Yes, Pohatan. I'll take the merchants. Tuscarora. I knew I forgot somebody's fort. Go to war. When does this not be unlawful anymore? 1625? Long ass time. Look how long that center of trade list is. If only France would give up being a dick. waving his hands. Naples Merchant Man. That replaces the flights, if I recall correctly. Trade Tech 25. I should definitely be pulling ahead. Austria is still right the fuck there, man. No.
don't know why Austria is keeping up. I mean, they must be putting everything into technology. Because they're not really trading very much. And by that I mean at all. There's only really three or four nations that are successful in trade. So you look over here in France. Where I don't... Hey! Where I don't have, you know, complete and utter dominance. We'll do that one. All right. Um, Fort level three. I really want war galleons before I build up the navy again. that one out. That's got to be helping our trade. 210.8. That's more like it. You stay there in yellow land. Motherfucker. How retarded some of these people are. Can't dash. The shit. Pope is called for a crusade against the Swahili. Poland, Bavaria, Trier, and Wurzburg. What war is this over? Stop looking at the sky, you stupid bastards. Why don't you swing around back to Bayugula? Oh, my trader died. You march up here. Please don't wake him up. Oh, God damn it! Well, that makes that easy. Thank <laughs> you. 
What are you doing, Brabant? Do you have a core on something over here? declare war on you, I might be at war with Sweden. Novgorod is not enough of a threat to Sweden. So for right now, it's not really worth it. Oh, Brabant! On Poland, you're huge. Do something useful. Wait, is there a Castile and a Spain? Yeah, but Spain is pretty much toast. That's not what we want to see. I have no real choice in this matter. I have to do this war. I don't want to. Denmark, Byzantium, and Serbia. France is the only one that I'm worried about. worried about France. Let's take a look. Um, I know technologically they're not caught up to us. Yeah, they have 136,000 troops compared to my, like, 60,000. 70,000. And I'm, like, in the top. I'm only four ranks behind them, and I'm still... At half their fucking troops. Ugh. And I can only really effectively field 90,000. I could raise some mercs. Can I raise any works worth a damn? No. mind getting Holland and getting a core on it. Is this not an accepted culture?
why you gotta be that way. What does Gigi even make? It is Tuskegee, right? Are they currently building something? Fuck you. Anything work with cotton? For iron, for cloth. Oh, that's fucking fantastic news. I guess it doesn't change very much. You, Austria. It's a reduction every month. Minus point oh three. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Spare no expense. We get the next idea. Thirty. Mm, Republican dictatorship. The administration. Do the build more trade depots. least. What the fuck? Sienna? It's 
take a look over here. Everything here is Protestant except for Kinkua. Once that finishes, that one will be Protestant as well. And all of this is Protestant. So. At least. We have once again just about achieved religious unity. We are waiting on war galleons and then we're going to build a new navy. That was a huge deal. I get for land? Leather cannon. Gallop infantry. Ooh, Gustavian infantry. Next slider is in four years. And we're going to continue on towards quality. That should max it out. That will max it out. Fantastic. All we need left is Timkua, and we are hacked. And more fucking South America shit. So we're going to get quality maxed, then we're going to get offensive maxed. What do we do about land and naval? That'll reduce colony cost and it'll increase tariffs. That'll reduce tariffs. 